saw the picture, you didn't have to close the screen. Uh, I just... super upset you, you know? We have gone through so much to get where we are now. I'm not gonna give in to fear. Lorenzo. Lila Ray needs you. I need you. You have to show me your ranch in Venezuela. You have to teach Lila how to ride. So I guess I'm gonna be the one taking care of you now. I have no idea where your enemies are, but I swear I will not leave you defenseless. Do you hear me? Anything yet? No. Listen, don't let him die. We'll do everything we can. What's wrong? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go get a doctor. Go away. It's me, Carly. I know it's you, Sonny, and I want you to go away. You don't want to upset the kids, Carly. Well, the boys are sleeping, so if you go away, they won't be upset. If you open the door, we can discuss this like adults. I'm not opening the door. Go away. I'm not going away, so you're going to have to face it. There's nothing to be afraid of. You know what? I am not afraid. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anyone. And the answer's still no. You got the information? Bob Mateo Ruiz checks out. He's really Manny's twin brother. I've got their birth certificates, confirmation dates, school records, police records. But Mateo ended up in seminary. He really is a priest. Uh, most priests don't have this kind of rap sheet. Well, Mateo and Manny, they were the terror of Miami. Until they ended up in a drug deal that went bad. Both of them went to prison. Mateo turned his life around. Man, he didn't. Is there any chance Manny somehow survives? He's pretending to be his brother. Police autopsy on Manny, including fingerprints and dental records. The guy is dead, no question. What about the tattoos? Well, in Miami, the Ruiz twins were known for having identical tattoos. It was their trademark. I compared their mug shots. The tats matched up. At least as much as you can see in the picture. Based on everything I can find, this guy's definitely Manny's brother. How long has you been a priest? Ten years, and he's done a lot of good work, especially with gangs, but... But what? If you look at his records, before he found God, Mateo Ruiz was worse than his brother. If he's a priest now, then maybe everything's fine, there's no problem, but if Mateo's out to avenge Manny, this guy can do some serious damage. Samantha McComb. I didn't invite Alcazar into my office to kill me. I didn't intend on being the only witness, but that's life, right? But you barged in there without knocking. I told you how many times. If not I didn't to walk do that, in, you'd be you... dead right now. I don't want to be punished for saving your life, Sonny. Well, I'm not going to have much of a life if I go to prison. And that's what's going to happen if you take the stand. That's why you can't testify against me. And the only way to avoid that is to marry me. I can't marry you. I'm marrying Jax. So, you're going to put me in prison? That's how you're going to get me out of the way? I think the Ivy's been tampered with. Could that be why he went to cardiac arrest last night? You said that could be an after effect of the surgery. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Even though cardiac arrest is uncommon for this type of procedure. But there's precipitation in the IV line by the port. But none of the medication we've been giving him would do that unless somebody has injected another substance. Did you see anybody in this room? I went home to be with our baby. He was alone most of the night. Well, I think we should contact the police. Contact them? Why? Someone's still trying to kill Mr. Agazar. Under the law, Husband and wife are considered one person. 
has a bunch of sexist crap and you know it. Maybe so, but spousal privilege is protected by the constitutional guarantee against self-incrimination. Well, are you sleeping with your attorney again? No, no, that's just a quote. Don't change the subject. You have been trying to mess up my marriage to Jax for a long time, and this is just the excuse you've needed. I'm about to be indicted for attempted murder, or worse, if Alcazar dies. So you don't care if you destroy my chance at happiness? You don't care that I'm in love with Jax and that I've committed myself to him at all? Well, do your you? commitment to Jax is, isn't nearly as important to me as avoiding prison. There has to be another way. You can move permanently to another country uh, with no extradition treaty. Or you can marry me. What do you prefer? No, 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 no. Stay the hell away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. My name is Mateo. Father, Mateo Ruiz. I'm Manny's brother. I don't care what you call yourself. You are sick. I realize that you suffered greatly at the hands of my brother. And for that, I'm truly sorry. I, I don't know who you think you're fooling, but it sure as hell isn't me. My brother lived a violent life, filled with anger and rage. I've chosen to dedicate my life to the Lord. That's why I'm here, to atone for many sins. If you even think about coming near me again, I will kill you myself. I apologize. My intention was never to upset you. Anyway, we should take this outside. It's possible that someone added something to the IV. Uh, that's kind of a leap. Mm, makes more sense than a patient going into cardiac arrest after that private procedure. Was Alcazar alone at any time during the night? All night. The doctors told me he wouldn't wake up until the morning, so I won't have to be with our baby daughter. Dr. Drake, could you explain to us why a patient in Alcazar's condition wouldn't go into cardiac arrest? Well, it's possible, but not likely. His vitals were normal and his blood pressure was level. Robin, I'm gonna warn you, Dr. Scorpio's been into the worst case scenario lately, so... I can answer this question, thank you. The surgery was completely successful. Obviously, something caused the sudden plunge in blood pressure, so it is possible that someone injected something like a preside agent into the IV, which would have caused that. Elizabeth, you were working last night. Was there anyone hanging around who shouldn't? Like Jason? I did see Jason here last night, but not anywhere near this room. He never went past the nurse's station. What was he doing here? I think he was bringing Carly here to see Skye. Sky? Yeah. Carly came to see me. And then Jason left. Epiphany can confirm it. Jason got a double back. Or maybe somebody else with a stronger motive could have sneaked in here when no one was looking. Did you guys know that Manny Ruiz's brother has been lurking around? Father Mateo Ruiz. I've already called him. He's agreed to answer our questions. Was Father Ruiz anywhere in his room? Well, he was in the corridor, but in the opposite direction of the ICU. All right, thanks. Sky, can you wait? What? I already told you. I was home all night. The doctors are mentioned. His life might be in danger. His life is always in danger. You know, you could start with Sonny Corinthos. He shot Lorenzo in the head or hadn't you heard? Well, to respect Miss Quartermain, but your boyfriend was in Sonny's office with a gun. You're kidding me, right? You're actually buying this whole self-defense scenario. Why are you even questioning me? You already made up your mind. Sonny wants to avoid a murder rap, which means he needs Alcazar alive. Doesn't make sense why he would send Jason or anyone else to kill Alcazar. And if you know who Alcazar's enemies are, it could help us protect him. Father Ruiz, thank you for coming. I'm glad to be of help. I was at the hospital last night uh, to counsel one of my uh, parishioners, uh, William Connors. Uh, he's been having some trouble on the street. How do I know you're not another psycho freak like your brother?
priest Jason, but I knew it was him from the moment he walked up to me. Did, did he threaten you? I didn't give him a chance. When I saw him, it was like reliving a nightmare, Jason. I knew just, I had to stop him. Okay, I, just, I just need to know what happened. I wanted to kill him. Okay, I wanted to kill him, but I couldn't. Because when I came back here, I picked up this gun, and the first thing I could think about was Christina. After she saw me shoot Diego, I promised myself I would never fire a gun again. And how am I supposed to keep that promise if Manny is still out there? It's okay now. He's not still out there. How can you be sure? Because the guy checks out. I had Stan run everything on the Ruiz family, medical records, police files, fingerprints, everything. Manny Ruiz and Mateo Ruiz are identical twins, but they're two different people. And two different people who happen to have the same tattoos? I know, Jesus, I know. come on, Manny, it's too perfect. Manny is dead. He's not going to hurt you anymore. No, what about his brother? They were raised by the same parents. They were, they were in the same house. For all we know, he could be ten times worse than Manny ever was. No. But he's a priest. So Manny was a janitor in a hospital. That didn't stop him from holding me hostage and shooting you. Who's to say his brother isn't going to do the same thing? I have every right to be scared and skeptical, but this guy has no reason to hurt anyone. No reason? Jeez. You killed his brother. Why wouldn't he want revenge? I know that. He says he wants to make amends for what Manny did. He would... <laughs> And, and we're supposed to trust that because he's a priest, no, or we're gonna we're gonna, gonna wait until no, he shows up no, with a gun stop, or something stop. works. I'm not gonna trust him, okay? Or anything. But I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. And if it makes you feel better, you should just you should just carry this for a little while. Oh gosh. Why? Why? So I can I can jump out of my skin anytime Christina gets close you to me. You shot Diego in self-defense. You had no idea of knowing that Christina was in that warehouse. But she was. Jason, I shot a man to death while my little sister stood there and watched. It's not fair. Exactly why you don't want us to have a baby. You're forced to make split second decisions that could mean the difference between life and death. And in that moment, you don't have time to think about how it's going to affect a child. I know, Jason, I know because I didn't. And Christina has been paying for it ever since. You would have known Christina was there. I, I would still have... would have pulled the trigger because if I hadn't, you would be dead. Jason, I get it. Okay, I finally get it. It took me a while, but I understand what you've been trying to tell me all along. Some people just weren't meant to have kids. And I guess, I guess we're, we're them, okay? But it doesn't mean that I'm ever going to stop wanting them. I know.